I'm not anti-gun, I'm anti-gun violence. I want to live in a peaceful America, and I want my kids to grow up in a peaceful America. And if we don't continue this work right now, we're heading to a breaking point where this epidemic will continue to spread. And it's not just death and, and pain, it's trauma. And this trauma manifests itself in different forms. And I'm proud of my generation, our generation, to stand up against this and say, we're not just gonna be traumatized, we're gonna do something so the next generation is not traumatized. Every single day, more and more young people are standing up and organizing in their communities around the country uh, because young people are on the front lines. State legislatures are incredibly important in changing the way that our laws are made. And a huge way that we can change state legislatures are getting more young people to run uh, for public office. And so a way that the state scorecards have shifted over the years is that young Republicans and young Democrats agree that we need uh, stricter gun laws. And so in deep red states, we've seen state legislatures have to change the way that they talk about it because they will be voted out of their local office if um, they don't act. And so a way that we do this, I created an acronym, it's REV, Register, Educate, Vote. And so we're registering hundreds of thousands, if not millions of young people to be a part of this process. Then we're educating people on the corruption, the greed, um, the lack of common sense that these lawmakers are using in order to create these laws. And then we're getting people to actually vote. And so our power is in organizing, our power is in our numbers. We have infinitely more people than the other side ever will when it comes to perpetuating this violence. And every single day, more and more young people are standing up and organizing in their communities around the country uh, because young people are on the front lines.